and it's your boy, R to the W, Reverse Works, and we're here back on Pimp My Volkswagen with another episode. No, y'all, just kidding. All right, but today, we are going to be doing a wide band conversion harness on the old 1.8T. So, uh, let's get into it and get down right to it. Let's go. So you're not going to need much for this job, you're just going to need either a uh, wire tool, um, a wire depending tool, a pick, and a small screwdriver, I'm using like an eyeglass repair one or a model screwdriver kit here. And uh, yeah, let's get into it here. First. Now, my ECU has been relocated to the inside of the car. So on normal Mark IVs, that is not even close to where it is located. Uh, I think I'm going to take this panel off up here so I can get to these a little bit easier. Pass this over to here. Oops. Plug's gotta come completely apart. Here. Oops. Okay. So what you gotta do on this harness is pin 52 and Pin 71 need to be pulled out, and then these need to be pushed into their place. They are labeled here and here. This harness is made by Unitronic. It's a great piece of kit. Let's see here. All right, I think I realized that was so loose there. So the best way that I'm going to be able to do this is to pull this panel off. I'll so be right back for that. Okay, so now we gotta take this connection apart here, or connector. So, there's a little tab in there. Pull that out of it, right. and then the purple end over here, that should slide out. Just like that, nice and easy, pull, now. go and then just pull the connectors out like that now what you're going to want to do is find pin 52 which is or would be the ninth from the right it's not on here on the white white connector okay that's 
It doesn't look like it has anything in it on mine, which is a little concerning, a little weird. Um, 62, 61, 60, 59, 58, 57, 56, 55, 54, 53, 52. And that's also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, let's see if... Oh, there's a wire there. Well, at least there's a pin in it, I'd say. Rubber guard back as best you can. Excuse the tongue action there, gotta keep that concentration. Alright, so mine just had a pin in it, an empty pin. I'm not really sure why, but it's okay. And that would be 52 on this harness, which is the brown wire. So it's not going to go through the grommet. This is not going to go through on my grommet. And that's fine. Because my ECU is inside. So it doesn't matter for me. As long as it works. Disconnected. Fifty-two. I'm gonna take that. It's gonna go right here. Up the green, or right next to the green, I should say. Finicky as hell. Get a lot of the clip coming up. Just very hard to see. On here. There we go. fully seated there. It's not going to cause any issues or anything. Right there is the new wire. Now we just got to do the same for 71. Yay! Let's see. Which one? 71. 
what I'm going to do is end up cutting that slit a little bit there so I can just tuck the wire into it. That's 63. 63. If yours is anything like mine, they're just two blank terminals and it's pretty easy to figure out which one is which. So, I 100% don't recommend that you cut anything on your car. But if you're going to do it, do it carefully. All right, and then an assembly is the reverse of all that. So that's wired in. I'm not gonna bore you with all that junk. And now I just gotta take this one. Uh, I forgot my wire cutters. Open this connector up. Oh, this one here, smaller side, and wire in this one to pin 115. And uh, we'll be good to go. Wire clippies. Okay. So let's take the wiring cover off. Put that back. Carefully remove the cover without breaking it. Pull the purple clip out straight up. It's definitely always stuck in there in my experience. Boom. Then, like I said before, Purple Gabby, come out. Like so. Can't get them mixed up because they're two vastly different sizes depending on what clip you're going with. Alright. So now, I'm going to figure out which one is 71. Or, uh, not 71. What the hell is it? Did I even need to pull those out? I don't think I did. No, nope, it is 115. Which is the bottom middle. Alright, so these. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. I can actually go back in here. Well, you know what? I'm going to leave them out because it's going to be easier to get this out. Let's plug it like this. Yeah, so it's the middle. The one you want to get to 
It'd be 115, which is this big hole right here that has a little green grommet in it, which is the middle. Take this out, maybe? <laughs> I'm stupid. That was probably helping or not helping. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't doing anything at all. I am just dumb. Beautiful. It is in. This goes back in this side. First time. Okay. Of course, when it starts to go in, it goes in the wrong way. There we go. Okay, those are in. Get this shoved back in here. It's a giant pain in the ass. Bound up between all these wires and stuff. If this didn't help lock it in, it wouldn't go back in. But it does, and it's annoying. That's basically all back together. Put the cover back on this one. I have the cover for this one in my house. And then what you're basically gonna do is, at the end of all that wire, oh, this is stock wiring. At the end of all that wiring, see, it comes out from where I have the ECU, comes up to here, goes over to here. This end is gonna plug into your stock O2 sensor wiring harness. I shall demonstrate. Uh, like so. Oh, like so. Ah, yes. And then this runs up 
to your new O2 sensor, wideband O2 sensor. Let's go. All right, and the ECU is in. The wiring is attached to the back of the ECU. Running up, this is where I have my O2 sensor wire running is through this, where the uh, cabin air filter used to be. Just gotta tidy up some wiring, and then it'll be all done from there. But pretty basic how-to on how to convert your early 1.8T Volkswagen to wideband using Unitronic, using Unitronic's conversion harness. Uh, it's a great harness. If you don't have VVT, it comes with this resistor already in line. That's why you have to run this red wire, uh, so you don't have to worry about that. And then you're all set. Thanks for watching, and as always, like and subscribe.